Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. You know all my struggles. You know what? Okay, so St. Louis and right, grew up in St. Louis. Cool host, obviously. Um, I was a catcher actually growing up. So, like growing up, I watched Matheny and Molina a ton. And then once I started switching to pitching, like Chris Carpenter, um, I always loved Jason Isringhausen growing up. Um, and Wayne Wright were probably the biggest ones that so I. You were a fan when they won the World Series here, then, right? Yeah, yeah, I was so. Oh. I was like, I'm like, so I get drafted by Texas, right? I'm like, ah, well, this is ironic because I was a real happy 18 year old at your guys' expense about six years ago. But no, I loved. Let me let me preface this. I loved almost everybody oh, that yeah, I yeah. encountered here. They were great. I love it, man. So being a reliever, man, I gotta ask you this: If you had to do a Mount Rushmore for four on the mountaintop for relievers, who are your four? Uh, you want like? I'll go. I'll go since I started watching. Started All right, probably Mo is definitely he's though. he's the pinnacle, right? Um, I'd say Mo. I probably got to throw Kimbrel on there because, I mean, he punched out like the most people ever through like whatever benchmark you want to find early. I mean, it's unbelievable. So yeah, was it four? Yeah, four yeah, presidents four, on yeah, there, right? It's been a long time since I've been to South Dakota. <laughs> so yeah, those two, probably Hoffman. And then the fourth, I feel like I got to have a wild card on there, but I don't know where I want to go. So we got, yeah, we got that. I got to say Papelbon. Papelbon, when I first, like, started, because I loved closers growing up, and Wild Card, just how dominant kind of they were, him and Mo were kind of in that stretch, he was he was up there for me. So might be a little controversial take, but I'm going to put him up there. I love that, but I'm a, I got something more controversial for you there, so let's have some fun here. You're a video game player, right? Uh-huh. got to ask you this, man. The first time you saw yourself on a video game, what did you think? You uh, so I don't play the show. I don't play the show, so the closest was that when I did was like in the minor leagues, and I'm like playing the road to this. I'm like, I'm gonna do this myself in a video game, right? Uh, I got to guess myself in our game, so I, you know, the velo was right, and that's all that really matters, right? Yeah. As long as you throw hard in there, you can throw hard, throw hard out here. So, yeah. I but like yeah. that. I like that. I like that, man. So the relievers, everybody has their theme music, right? Mm -hmm. You know how Edwin Diaz has his theme and everything. Six has his theme, but I gotta ask you this, man. And Fairbanks has his own theme song, named after you. If it's any artist. Oh, it, it's probably Angels and Airwaves. Either Angels and Airwaves or Blink. Those are my two. Uh, I'm, I'm. This is the first year I've stuck with the same one. It's by Angels and Airwaves. So yeah, probably, probably something that features Tom DeLonge and his nasally voice, just ripping it. Well, ripping the same. I like that. I like that. All right. So let's say you had to do the perfect reliever, right? So name mm -hmm. four great relievers. If you had to do the perfect reliever, one for our man, the book, different guy, but if you could do the I mean, I'd probably say someone around my size, you know, you, I mean, just, you just watch Felix go out, right? And he's this big old dude that comes out to the wire music. And you're like, all right, well, good for him. Good for him, right? Um, yeah, I'd say I like I like the, the big body, you know, imposing presence out there. But it is, like, it's, it's fun to watch, you know, like a Kimbrel who's not as tall, right? And the benefits that you get from that in terms of how it kind of carries from such a such a low slot. So I I don't know. I, I think you get success with both ends, but I got to I got to go with my own bias, right? Okay, so let's talk about the look. So obviously that comes along with the look too. So mm -hmm. yeah, Brian Wilson with the beard, yeah, Gagne with the goggles. <laughs> Actually, I got to I got to put Gagne on my. Okay. I got to change that rush. I completely. Hey, yeah, Gagne's got to go on probably over Papelbon. Okay. So He's Gagne, Gagne is we'll edit yeah. So Gagne yeah. is on there. Okay, okay. Gagne, I okay. completely forgot about him. You guys put me on the spot and I wasn't thinking out there. <laughs> I'm glad I said that. So stuff Man, who, who, who stuff who stuff? I mean, I mean, there's so many, just everything. I give me, I give me the, give me the Gagne heater. Um, give me the Mo cutter, just because, you know, you got it going here, you got it going the other way. Um, and then I think, I mean, we going three. I feel like three is a lot. Okay, we'll go three. We'll go the Mo cutter, the Gagne heater. And then if it's going to be a big guy, I don't necessarily want a side-to-side -side one. Can I go Dellen Batances' banger? Give me Batances' curveball. 
Because that was a. You just watched that thing, and it started eyes ended underneath the net. It was unbelievable to watch. That's, I like that. I never heard that. That's cool. I have questions, man. So, you got to ask him, is it great? Does he know the potential of the kid, man? Coming guns blazing, more experience, obviously, in Miles. I gotta ask you, man, what is in the water in Champagne that you got, <laughs> like, like, that pitch ball, like you're, you're great at what you do, right? Like, change and mm-hmm. all you guys, like, it seems like there's a history of just how these pitches all of a sudden just become gems when they get to Tampa. So, what is it, man? Tell me. Dude, <laughs> it's, I'm gonna, it, it is so simple, and I didn't do it last night, I should have, but you get the guys, right? You have the talent, and you throw it over the plate, and that's. I've said it in every interview I've ever talked about pitching is throw it over the plate. And that's what we preach, and that's where it all starts for us. Yeah, appreciate it. Appreciate it.